welcome back everyone in this video we are gonna learn about numbers primarily there are three kind of numbers in python integers float and complex numbers integers are positive or negative numbers along with zero float is nothing but decimal values and complex numbers we have already looked into it now primarily we are going to discuss about integers and floating point numbers and we are also going to look at execution of basic math operation along with assignment operations. Now, without wasting much of our time, let's jump into Jupyter Notebook directly for hands-on experience on numbers. Now that we are in a Jupyter Notebook, let's start with renaming the notebook file with number. Now, if you want to toggle the header and the toolbar be below it, you can just click on view, toggle header, and toggle toolbar it will increase more uh, of a clear view for you as for us we are gonna follow this synchronization for us now let's start with uh, looking into what is an integer integers are normal uh, positive uh, or negative values like 3 4 minus 2 0 all of these are integers now, what are floating point numbers or floats Floats are nothing but they are known as decimal points. 45.3, 2.4, all of these are floating point numbers. Now jumping into complex number, complex numbers have a real part and an imaginary part. As for now, we are just going to focus on two integer and floats. Now before ha looking into the arithmetic operations present in Python, Let's start with looking into a very important function like how to check a type of uh, any data uh, of any data variable. Now to check out the type of a variable, what we have to do is we have to use type or instance function. Now again, let's create some new cells below it just for our ease. Now creating a new cell is very easy. You just have to go into navigation mode that is in the blue bar and you have to click B for a cell below and A for a cell above. Now let's look into what is a type. Writing the type keyword with parenthesis open and close. Inside of it, if you write any data type, let's say right now I'm writing 23 and execute it. For execution, again, it's shift plus enter. It will return me back that it is an integer data type same thing if I look out for some different number let's say 45 some random numbers again this is an integer file you can check out for negative numbers too for 0 all of these are of integer type if you pass out any different data types let's say float then it will get out that yes this is a floating point number now this is how you can check a type of any data structure. Okay, now what does is instance do? It will return us true or false. What I meant by this is if a variable belongs to a particular data type, then it will return true, else it will return false. Let's look into an example of it. If I write is instance and inside bracket, I am gonna write my variable that is or my number that is 34 and I'm gonna check if it is an integer type or not yes it is an it is an integer type now let's change it a little bit change it to a floating point number false it isn't an floating point number but if I check out this float again it will become true so this checks if it belongs to a particular data format or not and the type keyword will just return back whatever data type it belongs to. Now that we know about type and is instance, let's look into what are the arithmetic operations present in Python. Now, let's comment this line out. For commenting, it's very easy. You just have to write a hashtag and just write whatever you want to write. Now, commenting code is very important once you move into the real life experience because your code should be humanly readable. There's a very important quotation that is there in uh, our coding field that 
any person can code but very few can code out which is understandable by human so we will try to write it in a way that it is understandable each by each and every human being now first of all we will look into addition addition of two numbers is quite simple just write out the numbers that is 34 plus 25 and if you execute it we will get the sum of them same thing if you want to do subtraction 45 minus 2 will get 43 again for multiplication we have 4 into 2 that is 8 let's look into division also div and 4 divided by 2 we will be having 2.0 as you can see that all of these has been returned as integer but this has been returned as an floating point number because we are dividing out two numbers. Now if you want to uh, return back an integer value then what you can do is you can just put double slash and by two you will get an integer value. Okay. This will only give us that integer value. Let's look into some more example of it. Let's divide 10 divided by 3. It will be somewhat 3.33 but if we do this that is known as float division let me write it out float division if we do and divide it by 3 then we will only get the integer value that is whatever we have before the point value that is 3 this is known as float division now uh, how to get the power of a number? Let's say 3 square. Then we just have to put 2 stars and execute it. We will get the power of a number. Same thing if you want a cube. 3 double star 3. We will get a cube of number. You can do it for any number. 2 double star 2. We will get 4. This is how you can get the power of any number. 2 to the power 10. It's 1024. Now, there's a way of how it is executed. So, if you write something in uh, brackets, that is, let's say 2 plus 5, and then you multiply it inside of it, you write 10 divided by 5, then we will be getting 14.0. First of all, the whatever you have written inside the brackets, that is 7 into 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So, it follows the bottom mass rule. So 7 into 2, we are getting 14.0. Right. If you want to get an integer value, you can just divide it like this. And probably we are going to get an integer value. That is 7 into 5 is 35. Now this is the end of part A for numbers. In the next part, we are going to look into how to assign values to a variable and what are the criteria for naming out a variable. Thank you very much. We'll meet again in our next video.